So by now, we have already established that Huawei's P30 Pro is the new night king. It is taking amazing low light pictures and mopping the floor with the previous flagship champions which is Google's Pixel line. And to fight the night battles, Samsung recently pushed a camera update for its X10 line which has updated the camera software overall and has brought a new dedicated night mode. So I went around with two different Samsung's S10, one with the camera update installed and the other one which did not have the camera update installed. And I wanted to see how has it changed the overall camera software and how good is Samsung's new night mode. Is it going to beat the Huawei's P30 Pro? Let me give you a small hint, it has done a tremendous job. Let's check it out. So I started off right in the evening when sun was about to set. I could see the difference between S10 Plus with the camera update and the one that did not have the camera update. The images were slightly brighter on the one that had the camera app updated and was handling the exposure and noise pretty well. Barring some scenes where they looked slightly overexposed and in some cases it was actually ahead of Huawei P30 Pro like in this one. You see the, the detail of the plants in the greenery is much better laid out here. But things started to change once the sun started to go down. Huawei's AI was kicking in and pushing out some nice punchy colors in the images and was creating the more natural pictures once the lights were up. But until now I wasn't using the night mode. From this picture onwards I started using the night mode. So from this picture onwards you will see the picture on your left without the night mode. The picture in the center will have the Samsung's new night mode and picture on the right will be Huawei P30 Pro's night mode. You can definitely see that Samsung has started to get in more detail. The pictures are looking more crisper. But they are sacrificing color in my opinion compared to the images before this camera update. In fact colors look better here on Samsung S10 Plus which did not have the camera update even when compared to Huawei P30 Pro. I moved indoors to see that how these cameras were capturing detail and from this point onwards I think Huawei started chugging along. For example in this picture you see how shadows are eliminated completely in Huawei's P30 Pro. Samsung's doing a good job with the new camera update and shadows are reduced but not as nicely as Huawei's P30 Pro. You can see the sharpness has definitely improved on Samsung's new camera update for the S10. But Huawei's P30 Pro is ahead in sharpness overall and pushing out much brighter images. But where Samsung has improved is this. See for example the noise in the background in this picture when you compare it between the old Samsung camera app and the updated one you can see the background noise is very well balanced after the update. Although colors seem a little washed out in the new update when compared with the previous camera app and compared Compared with the Huawei's P30 Pro. The new update is definitely handling the noise in the pictures very well. You see here you could not read anything on the hoarding before this update but after the update you can actually see what's mentioned on that hoarding. We've all known Samsung infamously for the blurry images and the smooth tones in the pictures. See that has also been improved here. For example here the sharpness is pretty impressive and is catching up with Huawei's sharpness and the skin tones here look much better when you compare between the old camera app and the updated one. The sharpness is amazing and I think many people like me out there will be very happy with this particular change in Samsung's new night mode. Samsung's camera app has improved drastically and is definitely taking in a lot more of the scene that is in front of you. It makes scenes naturally brighter without losing or over sharpening them. It's pulling in a lot of more detail. Before this update if you had a Samsung S10 you could barely see in the dark corners like this. But now after the update you would be able to take very sensible pictures and would definitely be very close to the details being captured by other smartphones. But where Huawei P30 Pro moves forward is the colors. It's taking in much more colorful pictures and continues to lead in the color department as the night gets darker. For example this particular scene. This was a very dark alley and the only support that I had was the moonlight. This was a full moon night. So see the particular problem that I had with Samsung's camera here in especially in the darker scenes. It had slight reddish hue to the images. Yes they are definitely better from what they were before this update but I still prefer Huawei P30 Pro's images and color balance. Except this one where I could see the image from Huawei's P30 Pro was slightly over processed and I could see the sharpening was too aggressive especially on the car. So when it was actually capturing more detail in the floor here it was over sharpening the car in the background. So far I could see the Samsung had improved a lot in terms of sharpness and was definitely bringing in much brighter and nicer looking pictures. Huawei's P30 Pro was pushing out more saturated images. So I thought let me go into more darker areas and see how is Samsung's new night mode is responding if light becomes scarce. So you can see here that it has definitely improved from what it was before but Huawei's P30 Pro is definitely the best out of the three here. It's getting the perfect tones on the colors here and the sharpness is pretty awesome. It's making the scene look much better 
than the other two pictures here. Or for example, this one, where Huawei P30 Pro's image was way ahead of the other two images. See here, for example, you just can't see any tree. And in Samsung's updated camera app, the new night mode, you can see how it is still slightly smoothened, right? How the ground is still slightly smoothened. But when you look at the P30 Pro's image, you can actually see the strands of the grass, you can see the tree properly up there, and you can also see the patches where grass is not there. So, so much detail in one single picture in such low light. This is pretty awesome, right? And when you talk about Huawei's P30 Pro image processing, the sharpness, this is a perfect example. You see how Samsung used to handle these images before? The waterfall here is completely blurred out. It's like a one smooth flow of water, as if there is no movement in the water. But if you look at the updated picture here, you can actually see the difference, how the smoothening, how the smoothening is reduced and you can see more detail here. But Huawei's P30 Pro is doing a very good job here on moving water. And you can see how well the image is processed and you can actually see the details of the waterfall here. Now to see how these cameras are handling light when directly pointed at bright lights, you see the key difference is the capture of this reflection on the ground. Huawei's P30 Pro has caught it very well and has created the balance between how the light was being scattered on the floor. Or in this image for example, the shadows are very heavily eliminated in Huawei's P30 Pro. Therefore you get maximum scene without losing anything even when you are under just street lights. As I kept on going towards challenging scenes which were backlit and the foreground was dark, you could see how Samsung was struggling here. Yes there is more detail in the image in terms of you can see better but it's very blurry in nature and it's slightly hued towards red or purplish tones. This is another example, another dark scene where you can see pre Previously, Samsung could not see much in the dark, but with the updated camera app on the updated night mode, yes, you can see better, but the image is highly hued towards red or purple tone and there is huge blur on these edges. Whereas Huawei's P30 Pro is capturing perfect colors, perfect interiors of the car, the color tones are absolutely natural and very true to the actual scene. No matter how you challenge Huawei's P30 camera, it will keep giving out the maximum detail. Even if you point them on the bright neon signs, it will still give you some amount of detail what lies behind behind this hoarding. And then there is camera versatility. On Samsung's new night mode, you cannot use wide angle. You cannot zoom out or you cannot zoom into an image. Hence, making the telephoto lens and the wide angle lens redundant in the new night mode. And then there is this amazing zoom to play with, whether it's day or night, whether you try to click the sun or the moon, like I was trying to click on a full moon night, the other two cameras gave me this, whereas Huawei's 50x zoom gave me this. I was really shocked that I could capture something like this from a smartphone. So Huawei P30 Pro's versatility functions even in the night time. And I feel there is still no match if you move into the absolutely dark conditions. The room was completely dark and I tried to point my phones at an object and you can see how Huawei's P30 Pro is miles ahead of any other camera at the moment. Even Samsung's new night mode is nothing compared to this. No matter how low the light is, you will still get the maximum output with very crispy details from Huawei's P30 Pro. Yes, Samsung's night mode is doing good job. Yes, Samsung is moving in the right direction. They have done tremendous job with this new night mode, but they're still not a match to Huawei's P30 Pro. So you saw, right? Samsung has eliminated a lot of its flaws with the night photography. However, I think still P30 Pro is the phone to beat. This phone is still the night champion according to me. If low light photography is your scene, you're better off with Huawei's P30 Pro. Nothing else is coming close as yet. Although Oppo's Reno is almost here and that is also claiming a huge 10x zoom and also brilliant night sight photography. I'm gonna get that one as well. You wanna see my thoughts on that? Do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching guys. Cheers.